Welcome to Entrepreneurial Inspiration. This is Chase speaking. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see the best success stories from the greatest entrepreneurs in history. Dunkin' Donuts is an international chain of coffee and donut shops founded in Quincy, Massachusetts in 1950. The company was founded by William Rosenberg, who started his career in the fast food business selling food for trucks in the 1940s. In 1950, Rosenberg opened his first Dunkin' Donuts shop in Quincy, Massachusetts. It was only 52.6 square meters. The original name of the shop was Open Kettle, but it was changed to Dunkin' Donuts that same year. The shop offered fresh coffee and a wide variety of freshly baked donuts. The shop quickly became popular among local customers and began to rapidly expand throughout the state of Massachusetts and across the country. The idea behind the name was that Dunkin' Donuts would offer not just donuts and coffee, but also the experience of enjoying both together in a unique and delicious way. It was born due to the common practice of dipping donuts into hot coffee before eating them. Dunkin' refers to the action of dipping the donut in the coffee, and donuts is an abbreviation of the word donuts, which means donut in English. In 1963, Dunkin' Donuts created the first self-serve coffee dispenser, which allowed customers to pour themselves a fresh cup of coffee. In the 1960s, it began expanding internationally, opening its first store in Canada in 1964. The company also began offering more items on its menu, including breakfast sandwiches and cold beverages. In the 80s, the company started offering bagels on its menu, and in the 1990s, it further expanded in the beverage market, offering a wide variety of coffee and flavored coffee beverages. Rosenberg passed away in 2002 at the age of 86, and Dunkin' Donuts was acquired by investment firm Bain Capital, and in 2006, the company went public. In the following years, the company continued to expand globally and improve its product offerings, including introducing gluten-free donuts and bakery products and healthier options on the menu. In 2018, the company changed its name to Dunkin' and began to focus more on its grab-and-go food and beverage options, reflecting the trend toward faster, more mobile lifestyles in society. An interesting fact about Dunkin' Coffee is that in some European countries, such as Spain and Portugal, the brand is called Dunkin' Coffee instead of Dunkin' Donuts. The reason behind this name change is that the company has expanded its product offerings to include coffee drinks and other foods in addition to donuts. If you are enjoying the video, subscribe to our channel to continue watching the best success stories of the greatest entrepreneurs in history. The brand also has a virtual store in the game Animal Crossing New Horizons, which allowed players to decorate their islands with Dunkin' Donuts elements. The company has a mobile application that allows customers to order and pay for their drinks and food in advance, which offers a loyalty program called DD Perks, allowing customers to earn points for their purchases and redeem them for free drinks and other prizes. Dunkin' Donuts is known for its variety of coffee flavors, but the most popular coffee flavor is the original blend, which has been served since 1950. Regarding donuts, they usually have around 16 to 20 different varieties available in a single store at any given time. Among the wide variety of donut flavors to satisfy all customers' tastes, the most popular ones are glazed, chocolate, strawberry with glaze, chocolate glazed, Boston Cream, Blueberry Cake, Old Fashioned, Apple Crumb, Maple Glaze, and Jelly. Duncan created a product line inspired by Halloween, which includes a selection of donuts with spooky themes and a limited edition drink called the Spider Donut. Duncan Donuts has also collaborated with The Simpsons on several occasions over the years. The brand launched a line of donuts inspired by The Simpsons, including flavors such as Homer's Chocolate Donut, Sprinklicious Donut, and Purple Drizzle Donut. Not forgetting one of the most beloved donuts, Duncan has had a collaboration with the Sesame Street character Cookie Monster in some specific countries. The company is also known for its fun and creative marketing campaigns. Some of the most memorable campaigns include Friends Don't Let Friends Drink Starbucks, which emphasize loyalty to the brand. And It's Not Just Any Coffee, It's Duncan, which highlighted the quality of its coffee. On some occasions, Duncan Donuts has used the image of the police in its marketing. In 2016, the company launched an advertising campaign featuring police officers and other public safety workers. The campaign was called Thank You For Keeping Us Running and offered discounts at Dunkin' Donuts for all public safety workers in the United States. In 2020, Dunkin' Brands Group, Incorporated, the parent company of Dunkin' Donuts, was acquired by Inspire Brands in a transaction valued at approximately $11.3 billion.
According to Duncan Brands Group, Incorporated's public financial reports, in 2020, the parent company of Duncan Donuts had total revenues of $1.36 billion. This number represents a decline in revenues compared to previous years, due in part to the COVID-19 pandemic and its effects on the global economy. However, today, Dunkin' is one of the world's largest coffee and donut chains, with over 12,000 stores in 36 countries. The company is still known for its fresh coffee and delicious donuts, but also offers a wide variety of beverages, bakery products, and breakfast and lunch options. It has sold over 30 billion donuts since its founding. Subscribe and don't miss our weekly videos full of inspiration and learning. Entrepreneurial Inspiration, created by an entrepreneur for future entrepreneurs.